Last video, I showed you how to set up your first data pack. Now I'm going to teach you what to do when you're creating any custom item. Let's get started. So you're going to want to go to mcstacker.net, link in the description. Now this is a really useful site for generating commands. So go to slash give, and let's just hide that because we don't need that. And now we're going to choose the item that we want to get. So in the next videos, I will tell you exactly what item you're going to need for each custom item. But for now, let's just make a generic one. Let's say a command block. So I'll just start typing it in. And yeah, so if you want to change any of these, you can go and select that. Uh, but yeah, a command block is just one I like to use. Uh, for generic items that don't really have any like uh, abilities pretty much like just as like a, a mob drop uh, or like a crafting recipe or something like that uh, because you can't do anything with them in survival and so let's say we want to set a name and let's say we're going to make a zombies tooth um, this again this can be anything you want uh, but yeah, we're just going to make a zombie's tooth right now. Then you want to set it to italic to false because normally it's going to be like italicized. You can also choose the color. Uh, we're just going to leave it white. And then we can add law. Law is basically something that goes underneath the name. Uh, so let's just put blood is dripping from its roots. So yeah, law can be nice sometimes if you're just adding a little bit of extra kind of feeling. Uh, let's set it to dark red and we will make it bold and not italic. Uh, oh, we need to correct that typo. There we go. Okay, so that is the kind of display of the command. Now onto the actual things we want to do. So, um, custom model data and custom tags, the most important ones really. Uh, so custom model data will basically tell our resource pack to make it look different. So maybe we'll have like a custom zombies tooth texture or model and then it tells our resource pack, make this look like that. So I just do a random six digit number. Uh, I think it can be up to six digits. I think you might run into an error if you do more. And then let's have a custom tag of zombie tooth colon 1B. Um, now you need the 1B. Uh, you can have like 2B or 3B, uh, but 1B is just kind of the default. If you have say like, an item that gets more powerful or maybe like different lengths of a zombie tooth then you could have 2b and 3b so now one more thing that i'm gonna add is a modifier so just to make it do a little bit more damage so attack damage and i'll set it to three this is just optional but it'll just make it feel a bit more real because obviously if you're hitting something with the zombie's tooth then it's gonna do more damage than just a normal item so I've just opened Minecraft and gone on to our testing world and uh, oh, the data pack's still on from last time so let's just do slash data pack disable the tutorial, there we go. Now if we paste the command in you'll see it's too long and it's gone red so let's just give ourselves a normal command block, there we go. And So we'll just place it down and paste in the command, set it to always active and there we go, we got a zombie's tooth. Uh, okay, so it looks like gave us one with a purple name because I think the default for command blocks is purple and also look it has like all of those lines So let's go and fix that quickly uh, So I think the default color for this is white normally and then up here if we set it to slot main hand That will make sure it will only display the the one line so now if we go back here and paste in our command Need to it needs redstone and then to always active and there we go we have a zombies tooth it's not got all of the lines has the law so yeah we're not going to actually make this do anything yet but in the next videos i'll be covering how to make abilities for different types of items but this is just the base guide to creating a generic custom item but if you want to learn how to make items that trigger abilities when you're holding them the next video will be all about that. Goodbye!